Hello, my dear creative friend. I'm holding in my hand another small but mighty book, which has been a companion of mine for a great many years. It is Analects by Confucius. And um, I want to read several of these thoughts and uh, try and see what gets fired up and uh, sparked in your imagination today. Enjoy. Once, when Fan Chi was rambling along with the master under the trees of the rain altars, he remarked, May I venture to ask how one may improve one's character? correct one's personal faults and discriminate in what is irrational. An excellent question, rejoined the master. If a man put duty first and success after, will not that improve his character? If he attack his own failings instead of those of others, will he not remedy his personal faults. For a morning's anger to forget his own safety and involve that of his relatives, is this not irrational? Once when Fan Chi asked the meaning of virtue, the master replied, love your fellow men. On his asking the meaning of knowledge, the master said, Know your fellow man. Fan Chi is not having comprehended, the master added, By promoting the straight and degrading the crooked, you can make even the crooked straight. On Tzu Kung, Inquiring the duties to a friend, the master replied, Advise him conscientiously and guide him discreetly. If he be unwilling, then cease. Do not court humiliation. The philosopher Tseng said, The wise man by his culture gathers his friends and by his friends develops his goodness of character. The master said, one should not be concerned at lack of position, but should be concerned about what will fit him to occupy it. One should not be concerned at being unknown, but should seek to be worthy of being known. The master said, the wise man is informed in what is right. The inferior man is informed in what will pay. The master said, when you see a man of worth, think how to rise to his level. When you see an unworthy man, then look within and examine yourself. The master said, a man's faults all conform to his type of mind. Observe his faults and you may know his virtues. The master said, He who heard the truth in the morning might die content in the evening. The master said, The student who aims at wisdom and yet who is ashamed of shabby clothes and poor food is not yet worthy to be discoursed with. The master said, it is the moral character of a neighborhood that constitutes its excellence. And how can he be considered wise who does not elect to dwell in moral surroundings? The master said, a man 
without virtue cannot long abide in adversity, nor can he long abide in happiness. But the virtuous man is at rest in virtue, and the wise man covets it. The master said, The wise man, in his attitude towards the world, has neither predilections nor prejudices. He is on the side of what is right. The master said, the man of honor thinks of his character, the inferior man of his position. The man of honor desires justice, the inferior man favor. The master said, he who works for his own interests will arouse much animosity. It's a food for thought there, isn't there? The master said, he who has really set his mind on virtue will do no evil. I hope you have enjoyed the reading from this book and I hope that you may pick it up yourself and start reading. There are some great life lessons in this small volume. Enjoy the rest of your day, my friend.